You know, even when we look at the whole LA riots, destroying of property, it was because there was a sense of disconnection. These are people that are here pulling from the community for the most part and not really giving to the community. They basically felt trampled upon by the Asian Americans who were in the community. You know, Asians Amer Americans are where they are because of Black Americans. <music> Living here in California during the time when the LA riots took place, um, I think that this is, you know, it's just some interesting history. But I um, have a good friend, Christine, who uh, she's Korean American. Her parents owned, um, a, I think it was a gas station during that time. They ended up going bankrupt because of the riots. But the, basically in 1992, what is considered the most destructive urban riot in U.S. history um, took place. Um, 60 people were killed, 2,000 were injured, 11,000 were arrested, 2,300 Korean-owned stores were devastated with estimates of property damage over $1 billion. Um, so this tension between Asian and Black, um, I think in the inner city, uh, again, what Christine was sharing with me was that really it, whoever is uh, communicating information, in this case, white, the white uh, what sells type of news was focusing on the differences and there's no um, covering of what was actually going on with within the inner city. There were um, African-Americans who were tutoring Korean immigrants to help them with their citizenship tests. Like those were really beautiful things that were taking place in that community, but it was, the media was really, uh, really um, focusing on the differences. And so I, I think that there are parts that come for me of learning culture and learning history, uh, learning that, you know, in, in Asian culture, we don't make eye contact. That's rude to do eye contact. Children do not speak up. And so to be around African-American culture where there's speaking on top of each other and looking in the eye is important. And there's just misses that are un unintentional because of lack of um, education of differences in culture, too. So I'm saying a lot of different things, but I think bottom line is I, I think that we will perpetuate the narrative that we're taught unless we are exposed to greater stories and relationships that help expand our view on what is really true. And yeah, that's, that's so good. That is so good. I mean, so much truth in, in those statements, because if you, you know, um, there's so many stories we don't know. And if you're not in that community, you're not hearing the positives. And it's kind of like, because you, you're, you're brought into um, the sensationalization of um, the disparity in the sense and of the, the divide. And so, um, you know, when we start talking about challenges and conversations, um, you know, some of the things that like inhibit like um, solidarity, like for instance, I'll just give you an example and I want us to kind of talk about because we, we kind of just hit on some of this already, um, but I want us to talk a little bit more about it. Like as, cause as we move forward in this conversation, some of us, a lot of us, even people of faith have ingested this, you know, because when we start talking about the cultural differences that you just said and how um, uh, Asian Americans tend not to speak up 
and, 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 and culturally. But when we hear, when we see silence, it's kind of like you're in agreement. Um, and so you're not speaking up because you're in agreement. And so we have to talk about these cultural, cultural dis, uh, um, differences because it sends mis mix messages. For example, um, I saw that um, Truth Table posted um, about, um, I think Michelle and Ray are going to be on their table to talk about um, the coalition and about the solidarity, the same thing that we're having this conversation with. And, and, I, um, and I saw someone post, you know, just saying, well, I hope what's going to be a part of that conversation is, um, you know, everybody using their voice and not being silenced about anti-blackness. And, um, you know, and I, and, it, you know, and that was the first thing I, I saw. And I was like, wow, we, we definitely have to have this conversation because from my experience, mostly all the Asian Americans that I'm around, um, that's not, the cultural differences that I've engaged with. Um, I'm around some thought leaders, <laughs> some people who are leading in this. And so that's all I see from my angle, but I know other people are experiencing different things. So can you guys just talk about that a little bit? I think, Tasha, one of the, the issues is that how does, you know, even when we look at the whole LA riots, um, part of that sense of, of destroying of property, um, it was because there was a sense of disconnection. There was a sense that these are people that um, are here pulling from the community um, for the most part and not really giving to the community. Um, and people were liter literally on the ground having experiences where they felt uh, maligned, they felt ignored, they basically felt, you know, trampled upon by the, the Asian Americans who were in the community. And that is what people um, are, are responding to, the ways in which they have you know, whether it's because of defensive othering or the whole notion of model minority or whatever is contributing to that, um, the reality is that people on, on, a, on a ground level have experienced the consequences of Asian Americans who have bought into those narratives. And it has been destructive to the community. And so there has been a message of anti-Blackness. Um, and so whether it was in the schools, like you can't make, you can't be friends with those people, um, you can't play with those people, um, and, and all the way through college, where it's like we're going to go to the Supreme Court court if we have to, because we think you know they shouldn't have any any level of favoritism. Um, I think that part of the issue is the lack of history, um, this lack of knowledge that that they are. You know, Asians Amer Americans are where they are because of Black Americans. And so it, it's really important to acknowledge that reality, that people on the ground have experienced anti-Black violence and, and racism. And that needs to be honestly looked at and repented of. 